Hi, welcome back to the GeoClean Workshop. We are going to be looking at how to set up a new region. Uh, this is also covered in Chapter 2.6 in the manual. So first, let's take a look at the outline. We're going to be covering what uh, what is a region, how to set it up, what are the, the different uh, uh, parts that are needed, what is the mask, and uh, possible problems. So a region is a preset geographic area of work that allows the user to run functions in the GeoClaim. So as you see in the settings, uh, there is a long list of different regions. These are uh, some of these are uh, by default. Some of those are I, I have created, but uh, Every time we're going to work in a region, either it is in the list or we have to create it. So uh, if you're going to create a new region, uh, we'll uh, explain that in a few minutes in this video. Just to let you know, the region files are saved in the GeoClean directory, program settings, regions. That's where you find all the 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 regions that we have. So now let's take a look at the, what is needed to create a region. So first we give the name but uh, then we have the definition, the geographic boundaries uh, by latitude and longitude in decimal degrees. We can either enter the boundaries right here, the, the values for each of the latitude and longitudes, or we can get the extent from a, an existing map. We'll take a look at how that works. Also, this is the the pixel size, the resolution of the pixel for the outputs. Then we also need a mask. We'll uh, go over what the masks are, and um, and we'll need a shape file that uh, outlines the region either mm, with political boundaries or the, just the outline of the of the region of the country or the state department whatever the political boundary we're going to be using so that is to use for displaying purposes uh, once we run a function in the geoclaim so that the product has this shape file this outline of uh, the region um, in in the output. So let's take a look at what the mask is. So masks are BIL files or raster files that are, are used to include areas and exclude other areas of the analysis that we're doing. And uh, in this case we have a, a global mask that I usually use. It has value one in areas that I work that I want to uh, use for the functions and value zero on those areas that we want to exclude. So in this mask that I have here for Ethiopia on the on the right, we have inside of the country we have uh, value one outside uh, is zero. So when I run a function, the results are going to be given only for those areas uh, in with value one and everything else will be excluded of, uh, of, the, of the function. So that's how the masks uh, work. We can uh, create the mask in a, in a GIS outside of the GeoClean, but also we have uh, a way to create it inside the GeoClean. So now let's go and run the GeoClean to um, to create a new region. So there are a few ways that we could do this. Let's say in the GeoClean we have we could go to File, New, Region, or we could go to edit a region and open an existing region 
and make changes out of that. So I'm going to use this one and make changes and create my new a new region. So let's say we are going to create a, a region. I'm going to call it. I was just working with the. Um, Meteorological Agency in Colombia, so I'm going to uh, create a region that is called Colombia. Let's call Colombia 3. So the boundaries, we can get them in different ways. We can, as I, I mentioned before, we can enter the boundaries or we can just go and bring a map that has the boundaries. In this case, we have a vector map, a shape file that uh, we're going to be using for that. This is the vector file for that region and these are my new boundaries um, already defined. I'm going to keep the same resolution. I'm going to keep this is the world mask right here. I'm going to keep that one and uh, I will show you later how to make the new one. So now we are going to define the map here we have a global map I'm going to remove that one and bring the actual map that we want to use for display so this is the map that we want to use for display is administrated uh, units one level one so it's right there so now this is complete click OK so now we have the coordinates, we have the mask, and we have the shape file that we'll be using for displaying. Now let's save it as a new region. I'm going to give it Columbia 3. So done. Now let's go to settings and see if it shows right there. This is Columbia 3 right there. That is my new region. Now let's select the data to work with that region. We're going to select global decades. So what we've done is we created, we just created a new region. We are now setting up our region with the data and the way to make sure that the data and the region are compatible is by looking at this icon right here this function tells us how the region and the data set are working together so this means that the area that the data covers the region okay if you get a red and, um, and yellow letter saying of region right here, that means that there is a problem. And uh, we're going to take an example. We're going to look at, at an example of that so to make sure that you know how to fix that kind of problems. So right now, we created our new region. It is working uh, fine. Then now let's take a look. Let's run a function let's just do average rainfall for March April May for that let's just take these few years and run it and we'll see all the different parameters that we enter in the region settings and uh, we're gonna be seeing them in the output so There we go. So right now we have the box that we enter. This is the coordinates. This box responds to the coordinates that we enter in the region settings. The outline that we have right here is the shape file that we defined 
also in the in the region settings and it only includes the data inside the the map in the ocean there is remember that the the mask was zero outside of the land masses so that is why we don't get any data out here so now let's take a look at how to create a mask we just created the Columbia 3 region so now let's take a, let's create a mask for that region so if we go to settings let's uh, start again we go to settings right here we go to mask so here you can define your mask you can uh, in this case we're using the default mask which is the world mask but uh, I'm going to import a mask from the vector data set that we have used uh, in the creation of the region so now I'm going to bring that, ve that vector data set maps Columbia right here so we are entering a vector right here admit one and we are the output we're getting an output of a BIL data set so then this is the um, what we are getting there are two buttons right here one is uh, values for exclusion are inside the map polygon or outside the map polygon so this is telling us what area do we want uh, to be excluded in this case uh, this is a polygon that we that is coming in so do we want the inside of the polygon to be uh, excluded or the outside of the polygon to be excluded so we want the outside because we want the inside of the polygon to be our region to be the 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 area that uh, will work in the, with the function so once we click right here uh, now it's complete then let's take a look at this new um, region so we can go to manually edit the mask so this is the mask that we just created and we're going to edit it and this is the mask for our region right so that is uh, the new mask and we can then replace the global mask or the world mask with this new mask that we just created so that's how you create um, the mask using the GeoClean. So now let's take a look at two possible problems that you can find uh, working with the regions. I just uh, selected a new region for Central America and I'm going to show you a problem that you can find is when you click on uh, this grid icon to show you the available data and you will get this kind of uh, results this is telling us that the region and the data are not compatible so that means that uh, something is wrong with the data uh, that uh, if the data is too small to cover the region uh, is more more most likely so now let's take a look at the this region and we'll see it is difficult to find out right away what the problem is because uh, right now the the region looks well defined when you save it if it doesn't give you an error then then uh, there is no problem it seems like there is no problem but uh, but then when we uh, 
click on the available data icon, we see that there is a problem in there. So a way to see if the if there is a problem with the data is to get the extent from the actual data set for that particular um, region. In this case, uh, this is a, a region in Central America, uh, for Central American region that we created a, a new data set. So what I did is I just changed uh, one of the decimals here in the latitude. So what this is telling us is that uh, this is different than, than the actual data. So what I'm going to do to fix it is I'm going to bring the coordinates from the actual data. So that way I make sure that the data and the region are have the same coordinates. So I know I have a raster image because it's rainfall. So here it is. This is the, the data for that particular region. So I'm going to select one of the BIL's um, uh, data sets. So take a look at how this is going to change right here on the first one. Once I click OK, you see, I had deleted the, uh, zero point, the, the zero 05. So now that I, I, I brought the, the coordinates, the extent of the region from the data set, then we have a new uh, set, the new coordinates right here. So that should fix our problem. There we go. Here, this is the way it should look like. So that the co the the coverage of the region, everything is okay. So that's one of the problems that you can uh, face. Sometimes see, the 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 program doesn't give you an error, but then you have to become a detective to find uh, what the problem is. But uh, when you get this uh, red and yellow mm, message, is uh, because the two, uh, the data and the region are not compatible. Another problem is when uh, the, 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 there is no decimals on the, on the coordinates, in the, there is a, a huge number then uh, and that has something to do with the settings on the computer and usually is because the um, the decimal uh, separator is a comma instead of a point so you have to go into the actual settings of the of your computer and uh, and then change the separator the decimal the symbol to make it a, a dot instead of a comma. So that's another uh, possible problem. Okay. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Send us an email. And uh, if you have any comments so we can improve the videos. And make sure that uh, you CC all the members of, our, uh, of the GeoClean team so that uh, anybody will be answering as soon as possible.